I, I think the city of Glasgow is, is fundamentally important to the School of Fine Art and its relationship to the city, absolutely um, imperative in its in thinking about its past but also about how we proceed into the future. From my perspective it's how students are engaging with the city, undertaking activities within the city and their relationship to it and feeling part of it that creates a very, very particular way of learning within the School of Fine Art as well. My name is Alistair Payne, I'm the head of the School of Fine Art at Glasgow School of Art. So I, I started at Glasgow School of Art in September 2012 as the undergraduate program leader. Um, I became the acting head of the school in um, 2013 and uh, the role was made um, official, it was advertised and then made uh, official in uh, July of 2014 and I've been the head of school since that point. Um, before starting at the Glasgow School of Art, I was um, the MA Fine Art course leader at the University of Wolverhampton and senior lecturer in painting. Um, I'd been there for approximately six years um, after completing my PhD at Chelsea College of Art and Design. So the, the talk I'll be giving um, on the 16th of March is titled Changing Times, a Reflection in Three Parts. Um, it's obviously a, a, an incredible honour to be giving a professorial lecture uh, or inaugural professorial lecture and uh, I'm, I'm absolutely terrified but uh, to give you an outline of exactly what I'll be trying to talk about in the lecture itself or the talk itself, uh, as I say it's a reflection in three parts so really looking um, in the first part at uh, the catalyst for change and the changes that we've experienced as a School of Fine Art over the last five years um, since I um, took over in 2012 and uh, some of those include obviously the fire and uh, estate changes that we've gone through over those years and uh, that will lead into a, a second part which really flips that into looking at the future and maybe a, more of a strategic vision in how we support and develop practices um, in terms of the most radical practices that we can um, engage with and we can allow students to engage with and thinking through the importance of creating the spaces for thinking in order to generate that making um, spaces for discussion, spaces for critique um, and also uh, I, I guess an engagement with the external world looking at the changes that are taking place globally um, at the moment and have happened over, as have happened over the last um, well year or so I suppose and the final part of the talk looks at, is a reflection on my own artistic research, looking at the, uh, my painting practice, um, the methodologies and philosophy embedded within the methodologies that I've been engaging with in order to establish an understanding of an expanded painting practice. And so where I wouldn't suggest that that's the most radical mode of practice um, available, it, it does, um, or I hope will show, that I am continuously engaged in modes of artistic research, thinking and making uh, whilst in my current role um, as head of the School of Fine Art at uh, Glasgow School of Art.